गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी शैल लर्न अबाउट न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन मैथ एंड दैट इज रेशो सो वॉट इज रेशो यू नो अमन वॉट अ नोट बुक एंड इट्स प्राइज वॉज रुपीज एट ही ऑल्सो वॉट एन इरेजर एंड इट्स प्राइज वॉज रुपीज टू नाउ can we compare the price of notebook with the price of eraser first let us try using subtraction so the notebook price is rupees 8 and the eraser price is rupees 2 so 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 we can say the cost of notebook is rupees 6 more than the cost of an eraser can we compare using any other method yes we can let's do division so now we compare using division 8 divided by 2 where 8 is the cost of notebook and 2 is the cost of an eraser so we do 8 divided by 2 we can reduce it by dividing by 2 so 2 fours are 8 and 2 ones are 2 so we get in simplified form 4 divided by 1 what do we understand from this that cost of notebook is 4 times the cost of an eraser first we did comparison using subtraction 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 and we figured out that the cost of notebook is rupees 6 more than the cost of eraser next what did we do we did division method and compared the prices of two things and here we figured out that the cost of notebook is four times the cost of an eraser so when we compare the two quantities in terms of how many times it is called ratio understood and we denote ratio using the symbol colon so how do we write we write it as ratio of cost of notebook to the cost of eraser is equal to 4 then the symbol colon and then 1 and how do we read it we read it as 4 is to 1 now let us take another example aman scored 80 marks in maths and this is anand he scored 40 marks in math now if we compare their performance using subtraction then 80 minus 40 is equal to 40 so we can say aman got 40 more marks then anand now let us use division so comparing using division we get 80 by 40 now this can be reduced by dividing by 10 both the numerator and the denominator so it becomes 8 by 4 this can be further reduced 
by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 4. 4 twos are 8 and 4 ones are 4. So the reduced form is 2 by 1. Now what can we say? We can say Aman got twice the marks of Anand. Now if we need to find the ratio of Aman's mark to Anand marks we can say it is equal to 2 is to 1. So using the ratio we figured out their marks were in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Now coming to cricket Anand is a better performer and he scored 100 runs in the cricket match and Aman scored just 20 runs. Now can we compare their performance? Now if we use division method we will get 100 divided by 20. Now dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 10 it can be reduced to 10 by 2. This can be further reduced by dividing by 2. So 2 5s are 10 and 2 1s are 2. Hence it gets reduced to 5 by 1. So what can be said? We can say Anand scored 5 times the runs scored by Aman. So remember, when we compare the two quantities in terms of how many times, this comparison is known as ratio. So basically, ratio is comparison by division. So we can say ratio is basically comparison by division. Now, if we say what is the ratio of run scored in cricket match by Aman and Anand? So Anand scored 100 and Aman scored 20. So the ratio of run scored by Anand to the runs scored by Aman is equal to 5 is to 1. So the ratio is 5 is to 1 which means for every run scored by Aman, Anand scored 5 runs. And also when we talk about ratio, here the ratio is 5 is to 1. 5 and 1 are known as the terms of ratio. Like in other example where the ratio was 2 is to 1 what are the two terms of the ratio? Here the terms are 2 and 1. Understood? That's all for now. Bye bye children.